Poor old John. Well, he probably turned up in a day or two, having hopped a boat from Dunkirk. <laughs> Apart from that, I got a good squad at a 109. I saw bits flying off. I'd like to claim it as a probable. I've been hearing of your work as a flight commander with W. Mermigan. So I'm giving you a squadron. 242. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You don't seem very pleased about it. What's the matter? Well, sir, I broke a Spitfire last night. I overshot the landing. You won't have heard about it yet. Well, you're lucky. Your new squadron has hurricanes. Now listen to me. Your pilots are mostly Canadians. And they've had a very rough time in France. They're a bit fed up, especially with authority. They want good leadership. I think you might be the man. I understand, sir. I'll do my best. Well, good luck in your first command. We shall soon need every fighter squadron we've got. The Luftwaffe seems to be gathering across the channel. Hey, you chaps, come on. Fresh yourselves. New CO's here. It's arrived, has he? We're coming in this door at any moment. What do you like, Cena? Well, brace yourselves again. He's got no legs. What do you mean, he's got no legs? I mean, he's got no legs. He gets around on a couple of tin ones. Great. So now we carry a passenger in the driver's seat. Who's in charge here? Who's the senior man? Isn't anyone in charge? I guess I am. What's your name? Turner. Turner? What? Sir. pilots in my office in an hour. Yes, sir. It's not smart to walk around looking like a lot of mechanics who haven't washed the grease off their hands. A good squadron is a smart squadron. And I want this to be a good squadron. You're the scruffiest looking lot I've ever seen. And another thing, there'll be no more roll neck sweaters and flying boots in the mess. When you're not flying, you'll wear shoes, shirts and ties. Is that clear? Most of us haven't got shoes, shirts and ties. Except what we have on. What do you mean? Lost it all in France. That's not the only thing we lost. Half our boys were casualties. It was every man for himself. We had to scrounge our own food and sleep under the wings of the aircraft. We were shunted from one place to another. They couldn't care what happened to us. We had to search for enough petrol to take off and fight. Then we got bust up. Had to make our own way back to England. Then they sent us up here. For all the good it did us. We're still no better off. No better off. We might as well have stayed in France. Yeah, we might as well have stayed in France. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize for my remarks. 
Tomorrow you can all go into Norwich, order what you want from the tailors, and I'll guarantee that the bill is paid, OK? Thank you very much. Apart from clothing, sir, we've been trying to get a new issue of spares and tools for the aircraft, but nothing happens. What do you mean, you haven't got any? Crawley Millen has a pen knife. <laughs> we'll soon see about that. Mr. West. Sir? What's our equipment state? 18 hurricanes, all new, sir. What's all this about no spares and tools? We lost them in France. Have you put in for a new issue? Yes, sir. But the stores officer says it'll have to go through the usual channels, sir. Well? Well, the uh, channels seem to be clogged, sir. How are they? Well, we'll run him along, clog them. Now, listen, it's in black and white in section 2, sub clause 4. It definitely states that airmen only get one issue. Mugs one, knives one, for... Where are the spares and tools for 242 Squadron? I'm very sorry, I can't produce everything on demand. It takes time. What's the holdup? If you knew the amount of paperwork involved for a Hold start... Oh, blazes with your paperwork and your forms and your blasted toilet paper. I want that stuff and I want it fast. I'm sorry, the book says I must wait three months before I can initiate the procedure for hastening new issues. Fine, we'll send Gerling a telegram and ask him not to come over for three months. Listen, sir! I want those spares and tools and I want them quick! <laughs> 